What's goodie? What's up, everybody? What's goodie? What's goodie? So we are back here today, right before you know a lot of us go on vacation. Uh, we are back to react to this Nintendo Direct, this mini partner direct. Uh, I, I it happened at six a.m. I was not gonna wake up at six a.m., bro. Fuck that shit. But I'm reacting after the fact. I've not been on like Twitter or Discord. I've not been spoiled. So we shall see what they got. I hope they don't show the Persona collection. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want that to keep going, bro. Everything. It's on everything but Switch. But we'll see what they got. I know a lot of people were mad. Like this isn't a third party direct. Not a you know a regular direct but without further ado we're gonna watch it and we're gonna see what they got all right let's go let's see if the audio is good yes sir yes sir let me check the levels they seem all right i can raise it a little bit higher When mankind is consumed by darkness, oh shit, Capcom? and the land falls into oh, chaos, is sunbreak? the arch demon of the abyss shall rise from the yeah, earth. Yeah, I think this is sunbreak. They come rushing here in a desperate you know, attempt uh, to survive. You know, uh, me, Prez, Those Shinobu, and Jay Ant played the Man demo, uh, and, and we fought that, uh, that Elder Dragon. I think it was that monster right there. Bro, we got our asses whooped, bro. We got utterly destroyed. Oh no, this is a different one. Damn, bro, I can already see us getting destroyed by that monster too. Bro, it, it was pretty difficult. Um, and bro... Why can't they? Why couldn't they add cross saves at the very least to Monster Hunter Rise? Cross saves for PC and Switch, bro. It can't be. And these wandering flames. But Sunbreak looks cool. Sunbreak looks great. Hopefully, with Monster Hunter World 2, they have cross progression or something. The story ends. Another begins. But this looks like it's going to be a pretty good add-on. Monster Hunter Rise like music. Oh, the insect glaive. Let's go. Here it comes. This is for my fellow hunter. Oh, they gotta be showing the PC version of the Switch uh, for this uh, presentation. Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. It's a good demo. Check it out. Free title. Man. They're adding a new monster for free? That's pretty dope. <sighs> I wish they had cross saves, bro. <laughs> like, that's like the number one thing, bro. Oh my god. Where are the cross saves, Capcom? Where are they, bro? Like I said, the demo is available now, bro. Go get, go ahead and go get your ass beat. 
Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase. In this presentation, we'll be focusing on Nintendo Switch games launching this year from our publishing and development partners. Okay, let's get into the headlines. The battle to reclaim Earth begins. Oh, near Automata? The year is 5012 AD. Machine life forms Did they announce this the planet, already? Causing the collapse of civilization and forcing they really, to take refuge this, on the This has got to be the cl a cloud version. The end of Yorha edition. Now, with an Android Near Automata? Yorha, the humans are prepared uh, uh, to stand uh, against uh, these never machine mind, this might be native. invaders. Look at all that anti-aliasing. A battle android 2B and a scanner android 9S are two key members of this squad. That's wild. Near Automata. Machine life forms in conflict. I mean, this is available everywhere else. What will I don't. I know for an, like a big action game like this, I don't know if I would recommend this on Switch. But if this, if Switch is all you this version got to of the play, award-winning Near Automata comes with previously it's released a great game. content, including additional okay. modes and costumes. New costumes exclusive to the Nintendo Switch version will also be available at launch. Reclaim Earth in okay. Near Automata, the I mean, end of your wild. edition, launching on the Nintendo Switch system October, October 6th. 6th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Wow. I'm kind of... I don't know if they announced that before. But that's kind of cool. Again, I mean, that shit's everywhere else, though, but... If you only play on Switch, there you go. The Murder Mystery. A palace of memories. The fuck is this? What the hell? Get ready to immerse yourself in surreal riddles and a chilling story in this modern take on puzzle adventure games. Like a noir type of game? Solve the enigma of Lorelei and the Laser Eyes, launching first for consoles on Nintendo Switch next year. Okay. Hey. Familiar faces are making a splash in these games. Don't know what to think about that. Bomber, don't ever show me Bomberman. A new Bomberman game is coming to Nintendo Super Switch. Super Bomberman R2? Time, a bombastic new oh my god, the first one was ass. The fray. A team of up to 15 players must blast their way to treasure chests, while one defending player tries to hold them off. Set up your defense wisely to blow away opponents, literally. You can also create and share your own battle stages. Have a blast. When Super Bomberman R2 I remember when the first one came out. On who Nintendo bought the Switch first one, bro? Year. That shit was ass. Ten Mega Man Battle Network I'm surprised they made another Super, uh, Bomberman game. game. I'm surprised they made another one. Coming to Nintendo Switch. Control Mega Man in grid-based uh, combat. Battle and Network. Use battle chips to gain devastating abilities. This collection includes so far, a gallery this with presentation over 1, has been, illustrations has not been and good. a music <laughs> mode containing over 150 Look, songs. Look, Sunbreak was great, but we know about series. Sunbreak. Mega You've been Man knowing Battle about Network this. Legacy so just... Collection launches on Nintendo Switch next year. The full collection will also know. be so digitally far... available as Volume One and Volume Two, Not each great, sold separately. We shall see. A remake of Pac-Man World is coming soon. What? Pac-Man Pac World repack? <laughs> to rescue what? Them, <laughs> he sets off for Ghost Island. Huh? Hitting dots isn't all you can do here. Trounce enemies with pack dots. The rev roll, Looks like they just the took the bounce, model from Super Smash Brothers. A giant Pac-Man? From high-speed chases to galactic escapades, you'll explore all sorts of zany levels. Save the Pac-Fan in Pac-Man World Repack. The pac -Man? Launching on Nintendo Switch August 26th. Two unlikely friends. One incredible I never would have thought. <laughs> There'd be a, a new Pac-Man game. A wolf bro. Cub must what the work fuck? together to find a way home oh, across the snowy wilderness in the handcrafted world of Blanc. In this emotional adventure, these unlikely friends must coordinate and use their individual strengths to solve environmental puzzles and navigate through the frigid wilds. 
Blanc is a completely text-free story with local and online co-op play, so all players can enjoy it. Forge an unexpected bond in Blanc. Launching as a console exclusive on Nintendo I mean, Switch, February stuff, 2023. Eh. Arr, a swashbuckling adventure returns. What? Pirating is in my blood. Like adrenaline or stale grog. I've been in this enough scraps be what to I fill a dozen scrapbooks. I've got stories about ships. Nah, it probably isn't. Fights, we never love, talk about that treasure, game. betrayal, and root beer. But how about one that has mm. all of the above? My name is Guybrush Threepwood, and this is a story about the time what? I finally found the secret of Monkey Island. The secret? Who are these people? Uh. Guybrush Threepwood. I mean, what? The art style is interesting. <laughs> I, I don't know, bro. After a certain game that came out a little while ago, uh, I've had my fill of seafaring adventures, bro. I say a little while. It actually came out a years ago, actually. I don't know about this, bro. Return to Monkey Island, 2022. Monkey Around in Return to Monkey Island, launching first for consoles on Nintendo Switch this year. Next, we have some news about a game that was announced last June. Please take a look. Last June. Mario and the Rabbits. Oh, Shimmer Rabbits. Last Mario Rabbids, for a galactic yeah. adventure in the latest Mario plus Rabbits game. What was it called? A uh, spark of hope. I think. Space is in a universe of trouble when otherworldly enemies suddenly appear. Their goal: Tentacle take the energy possessed bro? by sparks. These mysterious creatures. Is that a rabid Luma? Now our heroes must set out to save them. I heard a that the the first one was good. Awaits. So. And I like the director. He You'll initiate like a, cool a turn-based battle when you encounter an enemy. Before we begin, here's something you ought to know. You can freely move around the battlefield as much as you'd like within your character's range before using their weapon. Pretty neat, huh? Let's start with Mario. So Three they're bringing galaxy the elements so into this one? So let's dash into one of them. Because these enemies are just dropping star bits. Now select Rabbit Rosalina and have of her course. dash into another. Next, Rabbit Luigi. One more dash, and now Disruptor time! By using a dash first, then the weapon, three enemies were wiped out. With that, his turn is over. Back to Mario. Let's take out the other two. Pew pew! That concludes his turn. Last but not least, Rabbit Rosalina. I hope they don't end Team up the with an ally presentation and with this. Jump. <laughs> I hope Get they don't. positioned, then finish off with the Kaboomer. Okay, our turn's over. Um. And now, the enemy attacks. Be sure to take cover, and you might be safe. If you I, don't, uh... it won't be pretty. All right, we've got the floor again. Well, dash toward the bomb. Hey, look, the people who love the first over, one. Oh, that's kind of cool. The people who love the first game. I mean, this it. looks like it's just probably more improved. The key to from victory the is one. how you assemble your team and navigate around yeah. the battlefield. So I mean, Wait, is that Bowser? And he's I'll, joining the team? That's kind of cool. 
Mario plus Rabbids, Sparks of Hope, rockets onto the Nintendo Switch system October 20th. I just kind of feel like this trailer or whatever this was was not a good way to... Check out Ubisoft's special showcase tomorrow for more details about Mario plus Rabbids, This was a weird way to show this game. I mean, I guess they already announced it, so they're kind of more explaining the game now. I don't know. We hope you're looking forward to the chaotic adventures of Mario and the Rabbids. Let's take a look at more headlines. <sighs> There's something for everyone on Nintendo Switch. During a storm, young alchemist Noah crash lands in ancient ruins. The layout of these multi-layered ruins changes every time you enter them. Recruit allies called Lilliputs to challenge the enemies lurking around the corner. Are there corner. NFTs? String together combos and perform powerful elemental attacks to defeat foes. It looks Little like a Noah, boss from Scion Smash. of Paradise, launches a Nintendo Switch later today. All aboard! In the management sim Railgrade, you'll build railway systems to oh efficiently God. transport cargo and help restore right, economic well, prosperity yeah. to an industrial this is, colony. Uh, so far, this Complete has various tasks to prepare each shipment <laughs> this is, before so far, it's delivered this has been to its destination. Boring, like, Your strategies will change based on various factors. A couple of surprises, like but nothing that I really care run, about, I guess. Resources so. to acquire, and this isn't me shitting on third-party games. Like, oh, well, I gotta see Nintendo games. It's just like... Steamrolls There's no Nintendo like Switch big thing that I'm not expecting from a third from third Join party. Join aspiring game creator Kenta in a hand-drawn adventure to save the world in his latest you know, creation. What the was Legend it? Of the Legend of Right. You Taking know some Ace Attorney fans don't buy this by mistake. This RPG spans Bruce over 200 Switch? pages. I thought it was draw. I didn't hear race, one objection. Solve puzzles and even consult your handy calculator. Discover a new way to play every time you turn the page. RPG Time, The Legend of Right, unfolds onto Nintendo Switch August 18th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Spin Dash into a new oh, zone. God damn it, bro. Sonic's latest action adventure uh, look kicks at the off on the uh, uh, of Star <laughs> Fall Islands, home uh, to a mysterious uh, civilization. Here, oh, look at this you can freely dash game through a play, vast bro. open zone, oh my taking God. full advantage of Sonic's speedy skills. Ah, oh, it looks disgusting. Lock so on muddy. And attack enemies standing in your way. Chain together attacks to trigger combos and rack up damage. What? With good timing, you can even deflect enemy attacks. Acquire skills to bolster Sonic's arsenal of moves. You can also enter a special zone called Cyberspace. Take on challenges at supersonic speeds and grab keys <laughs> to progress. Remember Green Hill Zone? We're going back there again. Oh my god, the draw distances. Oh, oh. What awaits Sonic on these strange Bro, islands? This shit gonna be bad even on PC and, and real consoles. Onto Bro. Nintendo Switch this holiday. But on Switch? Live magically alongside your Disney and Pixar friends. Oh my god. Uh, so far, this Dreamlight shit is Valley like a 2 out of 10, bro. Dreamlight Valley was once an idyllic land where Disney and Pixar characters the, lived this in harmony. Show, until this, the forgetting uh, mini turned this dream into is a, a nightmare. Is a 2 out of 10, now, and I'm being it's generous. It's up to you to help these iconic residents recover their lost memories and reveal the secrets that led you here. This Bring is the magic fucking... back to Dreamlight Valley in this mesmerizing life simulation adventure. Explore this land's many diverse realms and forge lasting huh? friendships with heroes and villains alike. Oh. Everyone you meet will have personal stories to discover uh, and who adventures the fuck wants to, to take a selfie with Help them out by exploring, bro. giving them gifts, and performing other fun activities. Mm. In this world, you can be whoever you dream yourself to be. Disney Dreamlight Valley launches on Nintendo Switch September 6th as an early access title. Of course it's good access. Oh, yeah. Take and these adventures with you on the go. Live Alive is coming alive on July 22nd. Oh, that's good. I mean, Multiple stories again, featuring different protagonists. We already know that this game coming And gameplay out. await. Now in HD 2D. And unfortunately, it's coming out near Xenoblade 3. A demo with the start of three you know. chapters. Imperial China. 
Twilight of Edo well, Japan. I'll pick this up uh, and later the on. Distant though. Future will I do be want available to play this. on Nintendo eShop later today. Save data from the demo oh, can be transferred nice. to the full game once purchased. Demo available. Doraemon, cool. Nobi, and their friends land on an unknown planet and decide to help a new friend fulfill his dreams by farming, plow the fields, harvest crops, oh, and tend games. to the animals. Okay. You can even use Doraemon's secret gadgets to farm in a flash. Relax by living with friends, eating delicious meals, and fishing. And with local play, you and a pal can build a ranch together. Doraemon Story of Seasons, Friends of the Great Kingdom launches on the Nintendo Switch system this year. The world of Minecraft meets action strategy gameplay in Minecraft Legends. A beautiful land surrounded by rich nature is invaded by enemies from another dimension. Team up with allies and fight against this monstrous force threatening the world. What secrets await in this new yet familiar universe? I just Minecraft Legends sorry from quiet. On Nintendo I just Switch got nothing to say. Year. I got nothing to say right now. It's Minecraft. It's though. a treasure hunter's paradise. Two siblings dream of collecting grand treasures from around the world. Venture to the realm of Draconia to become legendary treasure hunters. In this Dragon Quest series spin-off, you'll recruit a variety of well-mannered oh, monsters nice. to join you on a marvelous adventure. With their help, and with your trusty fortune finder, locating loot will be a breeze. Monsters are a perfect travel buddies for exploring this vast world. Bounce on a slime to reach high ledges, or dangle from a drachy to glide over gaping chasms. Support your monsters in battle as they fearlessly fend off foes. Bring your hard-earned haul back to your base and see how much it's worth. Collect more riches Jeez. to expand your base and increase your treasure hunting level. X marks the spot when Dragon Quest Treasures launches on Nintendo Switch December 9th. That's kind of cool. Oh, this is where we get a uh, B-roll. <laughs> Oh, this is uh, what'll get my <laughs> my video copyrighted. This right here. No Man's Crash, October seven. Or is it Starfield? I don't know. It looks very similar. A Plague Tale Requiem Cloud version. <laughs> uh. Uh We're going to have so much fun together. Oh, uh, Portal? At first. Your participation I don't think, is I think they announced this already from the mistake. There might even be cake. The Portal Companion Collection will be available later today. Later too. I wanted to call it the We already you keep we already did this and we felt oh stupid. Well. We don't need to go through this again. Let's get started, you monster. <laughs> That's cool for people who haven't played Portal yet. It's Farm, a good game. Fight and forge friendships in a new fantasy world. Welcome to Lethe, a peaceful Ooh. village where seasons brightly color the environment. The, Your story begins here in this brand new it looks life blurry. simulation RPG. Do a little farm work, cook and craft items, and trek through the fields to collect materials. All while meeting townsfolk along the way. The seasons gently flow from spring, summer, fall, and winter. However, they will give way to the season of death. Quietus. Crops wither. Life is threatened. Find a way to stop the season of death from wreaking havoc on your home. Hey, 
fate of the village depends on you. Begin your new life in Harvestella, launching on Nintendo Switch November 4th. Uh, this next segment okay. will be our last announcement. Please take a look. Last announcement. Well, better be a good one. No fucking way. <laughs> No way, bro. I'm Morgana, reigning ace of the Phantom Thieves of Hearts. No fucking way, bro. I'm bringing along an ultra top secret video. I hope you're ready. October 21st. That's royal. Well, I, I'm assuming they're bringing three and four as well to switch. You know, I said I wanted this to yep. not come to the switch to continue, but hey, hey, this means all these people who've been That's crying for Persona to come Let's to switch. You Our better day. be buying this fucking game. <laughs> right on. Nice baton pass, Morgana. Okay, everyone, check this out. Hey, to the play the greatest game put on for the Persona series. <laughs> Better bear leave it. Persona 4 Golden and Persona 3 Portable are also coming. Well, I don't know. Well, I'm not too excited about Persona 3, but Persona 4 Golden and Royal. That's great. And all these, like I said, all y'all who've been crying your eyes for Persona for to come to Persona. Switch, here on you go. Buy these games. I know I'm gonna be triple That's dipping. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct Mini. Buy those fucking games. Thank you for watching. You, Atlas, been hearing everybody. They put these games on on pretty much everything. Buy these motherfucking games. Uh. You know, I was going to say a 1 out of 10 for this show, but because of Persona, I will say it's a 4 out of 10. <laughs> Persona, like, either a 4 or a 5. That's, that's big. But, I mean, at the same time, though, we kind of assumed that Persona was coming. But it is great to see confirmation. Um, again, I'm sad that there's not going to be any salt, but it is great to see these games on Switch. Um... Yeah, I mean, the, overall, if it wasn't for Persona, I would have gave this a 1 out of 10. Like, it's, it's, it was pretty boring, to be honest. A lot of the time I just sat here not even really reacting. I was just a couple of surprises here and there, but, eh. <laughs> Uh, at least it was only 25 minutes. It wasn't an hour and a half like fucking Xboxes. Um. But, uh, I mean, Sony's state of play was the best. Honestly? So, the Sony state of play and the Final Fantasy VII, uh, 25th anniversary broadcast were probably the two best, uh, showcases this year like nothing else comes close maybe capcom but i don't know i didn't watch capcoms but yeah i mean this wasn't good <laughs> this was not good persona got announced great but i mean that's the only reason why i'm giving it a four because of persona if persona wasn't here this would this shit would have been a one or a two this shit was boring um had a couple of surprises um people were like uh were thinking oh boy maybe bayonetta 3 is gonna be here no bayonetta 3 maybe they want to save that for their own thing i mean i don't know if they're gonna have their own direct like a general nintendo only direct i don't uh, i don't know I don't know what the fuck they're doing, but overall, this was disappointing. It was a letdown. Uh, happy that Persona's finally coming to Switch, but that's about it. Um, 
yeah so tell me what you guys thought in the comments do you agree with me do you disagree uh are you sad that persona is now finally on switch <laughs> but uh what else do i gotta say oh uh streams will be returning i know i took like a week off i didn't say anything my bad but streams will be coming back, um, not this week, because I will be on vacation, L-A-B-B, um, it'll be next week, most likely, um, so, I will be finishing The Great Ace Attorney 2, we're gonna be starting Case 4, and, uh, yeah, I think that's it, I don't think we have a podcast this Saturday, obviously, because we'll be in L.A., but I think we'll probably go live as, like, a short vlog video. Um, or stream. But yeah, um, I think that's about it. I'll catch you guys later. Hopefully, uh, you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys next time. Peace!